Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to The Witcher 3, where today we are gonna start playing White Eye! I'm super stoked, I'm super stoked. I, have been, I haven't been able to play for a while, but I am like so excited. Uh, blood and wine, blood and wine. I'm like tempted to maybe try to go get... Um... Armor. Uh, uh. Wait. So I have. I have. I only have one master crafted. Do I have the recipes? I have to go to a an actual please please I have to go to an actual town with a blacksmith or something. Over 20 years ago, a certain Bartolomeo, known as Badger, on account of certain characteristic aspects of his coiffur, <laughs> coiffur discovered a rich deposit of high quality stone on the spot. He bought the land for a song, then leased it back to local peasants before heading off to Kobe, where he lives a life of rich and powerful townsmen to this day. Well, that's nice. That's cool, I guess. Right? I always forget. Mm, wait, where are we? We're like way out. I could go here. Custom marker. I'm really excited. <laughs> I'm really excited. I'm really excited. I'm really excited. Like, this game is really freaking good. And. It's, I've just, I cannot wait to start this DLC. I've heard such good things about it. Like, and I've heard a couple little, like, hints as to what goes on. They're not, not exactly what happened. There's a certain person that you meet that I don't remember their name, but I kind of know of them. But, I mean, people have been promising me a vampire, a full-fledged vampire for a long time. So. <gasps> I am excited. Oh, whoops. I mean, I guess might as well, right? I guess we could earn some money. I'm glad you said I'm not attacking. I'm not doing anything fancy. Somewhere. Okay. More will spawn. Need to destroy the nests. Just spawn, they just spawn out of the nest. Did we get something out of the nest? Yes. What? Is that everything up here? Oh, right. Oh, there's another. That's, that looks like. Oh, that's just another nest. Oh, okay. Back in the nest. Need to destroy it. Need to destroy I can't believe like who had to talk like this, like like ouchies. Oh. Whoa! Are you the royal one? Man, I didn't I didn't wanna I was actually gonna leave you alone, but okay. I guess I'll put on. Oh, hey, wait, wait, wait. There's my crafting. Okay. Boop, boop. Master. Ma Master crafted. 
Oh, shoot. I'm only missing some hardened leather for that? Okay, I'll do the master crafted woven boots then. And I have the chest armor. I need the gauntlets. If I have them. Oh, I have enhanced. I need me. Oh! Okay, I could make the gloves. Uh, where's paint? Do I have paint? Well, dang. Uh, I may have been missing some monster eggs before, but geez, I don't think this will be difficult to do. All right, so real quick before we do that. Oh wait. Okay, wait, 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 wait. My bead. I need my glasses. Ugh, this is already harder to see. Okay. First hangman, insectoid, dragon in. I shouldn't really need anything else, but. Let's see, uh, what's this for my. Okay. was not too bad. Oh, I got a wolf. Oh, I'm getting the wyvern trophy, another one. It's huge. What's the name again? Royal Wyvern. Don't usually come this big. It's feasted plenty, I reckon. Attacking those traveling the road. What do they call ye, master? Geralt of Rivia. Geralt of Rivia. It'll be a tale to tell the young'uns. <laughs> I like that. That was nice. Oh, well, cool. Well, there we go. Howdy doody. Let's go to a town. <laughs> Let's actually go to a town. All right, I need to go south somehow. Oh, um... Let's see if, uh... Old Roachy boy will be useful. Hey -ya. I did the press. That's twice it, then. Roach. Now I have to hold it down too. Oh my gosh! Hi. Does your humble abode happen to have a blacksmithing? Oh, Station. Oops. Doesn't look like it. <laughs> the voices of this game are just hilarious. I don't know if this place, this place doesn't look like it's going to have... I may just actually go over here. Armor's table. But yeah, but I need a blacksmith. Blacksmith. Alright, really quick. I was worried about getting distracted, but I have been wanting the Mastercrafted stuff. And I already have one, so I might as well head into the final DLC with fully a full Mastercraft set. Well, at least full armor. I don't know if I have the recipe for the swords. You can't recall who someone is. Alright, let's see. Is no one gonna be open right now? I know if we head towards the Ooh. center, there should be. Oh, there's an armor. Nero, there's somebody mad at me over there. Everyone to me! 
to me. Something about more soda over there. They were saying. Oh, Are you a master crafter? Greetings again. So, you got a job? You're in luck. I actually do have a special order for you. Oh, that's fantastic. Mark my words, you'll be satisfied. Okay, so we need... Oh, well, I could just craft it, right? Okay, let's see what it takes to do... Hardened... Hardened... Oh, really? Oh. Well, that's much cheaper to buy. I think I only needed the one. I'll just take my boots off and hand them to him and be like, can you upgrade these? That'd be great, thank you. Gauntlet. Okay, I hope I haven't, I hope I'm not like, no yeah, I was the superior before, so. Missing some silk. I'll just buy one. Master Grapes. All right. Bye. So long. So it, it did it upgrade it. The ones I had on. Yes. Wow, a full master craft set. Oh, but I the thing you need to get the bonus is the grandmaster, right? Oh man, I don't have the grandmaster recipes. Dang it. That's okay. A master crafted set is better than nothing. Let me see if I actually have Oops. The Squad. I do have the master crafted sword. Wait. It's not as good as what I've got? Oh, right, the woven one. Right, 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 right. Mm -hmm. So I do not have, wait, wait, do I have, I don't have the woven mastercrafted silver sword. Woven, nope, okay. So I don't have the weapon ones. It would appear. Also fine. <laughs> Alright, 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 alright. Did it change them at all? Ooh, I think it did. I think it added uh, some, like, uh... Some extra glowy, glittery bits to it. <laughs> Look how good it looks, though. I like it. It's so shiny. So shiny and new. Girls look great. Freaking look great. Quick, zoom up. Yes. Oh god, let's go, let's just go. Yeah. Was that somewhere in Velen, Novograd? I know what, I, I wanted to listen. But we've not got no need for your help. Have no fear, good man. Wow, Our they're shiny. Shall be done quickly. The prowlers to be banished for good. Milton, look. Get out. In the Hi. flesh. Hey, Hail, Witcher. Let us go inside and greet they you. They are the colorful. Friend. Look at the peacock you feathers. We shall put an end to the rule of outlaws soon. 
they do not want your help. Huh. Found your message on a notice board. You see, Palmerin, I told you. The griffin at White Orchard. I knew that were we only to follow the tracks of its slayer, we would in the end find Geralt. Milton de Peyrac Perrin and Palmerin de Longfor. Good to see you both. Been years. Be assured, we share your joy. You must forgive us our, uh, surroundings. When we pledged to place the village under our protection, the village elder gave us this hut as our lodgings. He swore it is the best hut in the village. Hmm? Get involved in some squabble? We discovered that in retreating, the Redanian garrison that left this land's tillers at the mercy of numerous plagues. A tyranny of bandits, the most onerous among them. These plunderers shall soon descend on this village to collect tribute. Milton and I will dissuade them. We are both sworn to fight injustice and oppression wherever they rear their heads. The matter does not concern you, of course, but do us the kindness of waiting. Once we have dealt with these marauders, we have a matter we must present to you. I, mean, I think this is the problem right here. No point fighting bandits. Kill these and others just as bad or possibly worse will come in to fill the void. To cast a blind eye upon the evil. There is no honor in it. Can't stay here to protect these folk from the dangers that come their way daily. Saw what I saw. Heard them urge you to leave these raiders alone. Must have good reason to do that. Do you suggest that should we help, we assume responsibility for their fate? For their lives? A Spartan we cannot agree to bear. Geralt speaks wisely. We know neither this land nor its people. Yeah, you really shouldn't customs. just, yeah. And we have come with another duty altogether. Uh, ah, how I long to return to Tucson, where all is simpler. Soon, my friend, soon. First, let Their us Their armor is so nice. I want a, I want a copy. <laughs> Peasants will be fine, Palmerin. Been dealing with bandits for generations. Your words do little to assuage my sense of morality bruised. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing, though, is that, like, it's, that was what I was thinking, is, like, these people obviously have something that's kind of working out, hopefully, and they're like, please don't help us, like, it'll only be worse, like, or, like, this is a small band, and the bigger band will come and kill us all, you know, like, so... And these guys don't know. They're not from this country, obviously. Like, from this area. They don't know what's... They're just, like, throwing themselves at it all nobly. So. So fess up. What brings you such a long way? We are to deliver Her Grace the Duchess's message in full. With all due ceremony. What? For tradition. No. It is sacred in Toussaint. Ah. All right. Okay. Fine. Most honorable Geralt. Slayer of monsters and all Ifels nefarious, which prey on the defenseless of this world. For us never have like you been known armor? to deny help to the innocent, nor leave widows and orphans to fates undeserved. Answer you now our present summons. Free us from the beast which floods our streets with blood, and sows panic in the hearts of rich and poor alike. Come to our aid, Witcher. Thus humbly beseeches you the Star Cross City's most gracious protectress. Her illustrious highness, Duchess Anna Henrietta. Shall you answer her call? Well, uh, do I know her? Anna Henrietta really say all that? Word for word? Well, in point of fact, she said, bring me the witcher and dare not spare your horses. Only make certain this time he comes alone. The Ducal Chamberlain added the rest. You know how it is. <laughs> Yeah, I remember. I might add, be it unofficially, that a hefty reward awaits. Yet the specifics you will need to verify with her illustrious highness. Might be the most fervent request that I take a contract ever. And the most polite. And now we've got all that behind us. I want to hear more about this beast. Some kind of monster? Just guessing. Most assuredly, though no one has caught a good look at it as yet, our only sure witnesses, the bodies massacred in a brutal, horrid manner. Look, some sketches drafted from descriptions given by those who claim they glimpsed the beast. Each quite different. To my mind, these witnesses lie. 
How many victims so far? Two. When Her Grace learnt of the second, she discharged us immediately to fetch you, promising grants of land and fortunes in gold, should you answer her summons. An ill wind blows, Geralt. The beast cannot be tracked. Folks say it wields black magic. Also, both victims were nobly born, and the start of a tourney draws near. Okay, so I had a little bit of an interruption there, but let me just say, I glanced at the, uh, the thing. It looks like Slenderman! Slenderman! Mentioned a tourney. Why doesn't the Duchess just call it off? Simply, it is too late. The guests have arrived. The best knights of all lands, relatives of the Emperor. The beast could be a threat to others, not just to her grace's subjects. Got it. Before an aristocrat dies, <laughs> at best it's a scandal. At worst, a diplomatic incident. Anyone tried to hunt it? Slenderman! Knights errant, for Slenderman. example. Ha, many have tried. Baiting, waiting in ambush. These guys look no really avail. cool. The beast is clever. It evades all traps and attacks of a sudden. It is like a ghost. Huh. Experienced tracker. This is what we need, with knowledge of monsters. In short, we need to There are other witchers besides me, but apparently I know Anna Henrietta. Beast wields black magic? What makes you say so? The first victim vanished between bites at a feast. The feast goers none noticed this. They saw but an open window, then heard desperate cries from the street below where a corpse had just been found. The second oh. killing similar. A knight in a locked room. Serpents all about the house, guards all around the estate. Yet the beast somehow got him out, dragged him to the town square, and killed him there. No one saw, nor heard, a thing. We have no fear of creatures against which sword and shield protect, but of this beast, nothing is known. Safe that it cannot be traced, kills effortlessly, and with no rhyme or reason we can discern. Hmm. Uh, I sometimes think back to all the contracts I've ever taken from sovereigns. <laughs> name hardly anywhere I came out ahead. <laughs> you cannot be thinking to refuse. <sighs> no, just struck by a thought. How the Duchess can sometimes be mm, demanding. So you accept the contract? Excellent. He's got like no choice, sort Lonk of. wanted this land searching for you. Yet time is of the essence. Ready to go, as soon as you're packed. Ha! Ah, then post haste to Tusa. To Toussaint! Toussaint! Oh boy, Geralt in a pseudo-French environment is going to be hilarious. That's what I'm picturing, anyway. Good luck, peasants. Ooh, pretty. Oh my gosh, like, eh, this is, we're gonna go hunting Slender Man. I wonder if it's like multiple things. It's like uh, a man and a creature, a man who controls a creature, or a man, you know, a man creature who controls a creature. A human like creature. Could be a woman! Probably is a woman, actually, to be honest. Hell hath no fury, you know what I'm saying? How many victims? Did it say how many victims there have been? I said both rich and poor, but I can't remember. Toussaint, the land of love and wine. Exactly how I remembered it. <laughs> we are, this is, this is not sparing, this is definitely sparing our horses. Walk We're going pretty easy. <laughs> You will see for yourself. To me, place always seemed straight out of a fairy tale. Knights errant, elven palaces. You insinuate that we are somehow odd? I shall prove you wrong. This I pledge on the heron. <laughs> what? Oh! Is this normal? Tilting at windmills, bro? Windmills that have 
ogres in them? Why does the windmill, why does the ogre have peacock feathers on its head? Oh, it's a young guy. Why does it have a barrel on its head? Welcome to Toussaint! Friggin' land of brightly colored armor and... What? Witcher's gone, we got us out! Oh, okay. A monster! For a woman, I bet. Oh, y'all. Oh, so dumb. Oh, yeah. Man, I need to get my. How do I get my soul repaired? Oh, I don't remember. You guys are in my way. Okay, um. It just seems to be like uh, falling apart way faster. I don't think I have any kits anymore. Oh wait, I got one, one left. What the heck happened to all my armor kits? Oh yeah, interesting. <laughs> I can only use this against uh, humans. Switch it. Oh, am I using? No, I'm using. I have to be using the silver sword, right? Uh, oh, multiple. Uh, oh. oh, I'm trying to pull out the rocks. Single-handed, none too wise. Neither is love born of wisdom, Witcher. So, Guillaume, out with it. Which fair damsel inspired you to vow to kill that filth? The most beautiful among them. If he wishes to guard her name a secret, he need not reveal it. You I do not know, sir, nor seem you a knight, yet still I am profoundly grateful, nay, indebted to you for your succor. This trophy, sir, is yours. Oh, well. A giant this close to human settlements? Strange. Well, that was no ordinary giant. His name was Goliath. Rumored to have been a knight once, but one who broke his vows. For this, the Lady of the Lake transformed huh. him into a wild giant and banished him into the Gorgon Hills. So he came back down? Why? Several times each year, hunger chased him into the lowlands. Goliath had killed and devoured many shepherds. Guillaume's hunt served a noble cause. At any rate, it's a tale for more agreeable environs. Okay! <laughs> These people are odd. I'll take the trophy. Why not? Could find someone who'll pay to buy it. Put up a good fight against the giant. Got experience battling monsters? None. In Tucson, we mostly chase bandits. But I vowed I'd bring my heart's champion the head of a monstrosity, as the famed Gottfried, known as the Giant Killer, did. You don't mean to hunt the beast, I hope. The matter's best left to Geralt. Another challenge awaits me. Yet yeah. if Geralt is to hunt the beast, he ought to know. It struck again. 
Oh, okay. So the river not surrendered a corpse. It washed up in the meander by the cockatrice. Damien Delatour's guardsmen are there already, securing the area. Securing the area? Better go there now before they trample any tracks, manhandle any evidence. Set forth then. I shall ride for the city to inform her gracious magnificence that Garrett has arrived. More gracious magnificence! <laughs> we'll meet later, near Guillaume's tent at the Tourney Grounds. I shall take you then to see her grace. Well, he looks like he would be a knight, maybe. He's got the... It's, it's extra weird to carry around a giant head, because it's kind of humanish. I'm weirded out by that. I'm a little tiny bit. Teeny tiny. Teeny tiny bit weirded out by that. Alright, let's go. Oh, Give you got cool stuff. Got Brave cool. kid, Guillaume. Parmarin oversaw his upbringing. Guillaume is his kid. Oh. Oh, in Blood and Wine, you can undergo additional with your mutations to unlock new capabilities. Soon you will run into a messenger who will deliver a very interesting letter. Read it and investigate the story of Professor Moreau to learn more about these mutations. They say a master craftsman lives in Toussaint who can craft witcher gear of unequal quality. What's more, you receive special bonuses for wearing all or part of a set of this extraordinary equipment. Okay, so I can get the Grandmaster stuff from this DLC. Like, I thought maybe it was just almost unlocked with the DLC, but you have to get it here. This really is a quite pretty place. Different accents Can't now. Get used to the way you knights talk, especially how you switch back and forth between flowery and, well, near normal. Knights nice errant in the service of her gracious magnificence. When we appear in her name or speak on her behalf, we are bound by tradition. Tradition. Man, this game. I don't know if there will ever be another game like this one. No one here. They must have removed the body. Right. Let's look around. Make sure they didn't miss anything. Hmm? Hobnailed boots. Multiple sets of prints. Ducal guard, clearly. Let's see where they went. You see it, my friend. Walked along the shoreline. Perhaps the body lay on the bank. Or they were all eaten by... Hola! Perish, Charlotte's brutes! Hmm? Got guests. Careful. Ooh! A skirver? Then, can I investigate? No. Oh. Maybe this is where the body was. Guardsmen pulled these nets out of the water, then cut the mutilated body free. Beast of Tucson. Gonna dive in. Make sure they didn't miss anything. Mm -hmm. A chest.
Accessory clearly need to comb the bank. Okay, like walk along. Where are you at? Damn, you're ugly. Oh, I can make you. I need to fix the freaking sword. Again. Drawn here by the smell of blood. Let's keep looking. You know, buy some, buy some, some sword fixing kits. Okay. I was like, you want me to examine everything or what? Look, a boat was launched here. Guardsmen must have loaded the body parts onto it, taken them somewhere. Need to find out Gross. where. Gross. I'd like to look at the corpse before it starts to decompose. The inn. Its patrons must have seen the guardsmen. Which direction they took. We should ask there. Hey. Carol's like, ah, ah, it's a cloaked person. Seems we've got ourselves an audience. You think this surprising? The locals will tell the children of children they do not have yet. Of the day a quartered <laughs> corpse was pulled from the river. One thing. Found a handkerchief in the water. Monogram I think I'm gonna like this D place. LC. Mean anything to you? Delacroix? It cannot be. Was it he the beast slew? Seems so. Knew him well? Long past. We were close friends once, but our paths diverged. He was a man of extremes. Standing by his companions, no matter the odds. Fighting his foes to the bitter end. Foes? You have a lot of them? He did. But I do not see what that has to do with the beast. Ah, Geralt. You've struck a raw nerve. Memories of a time long past, to which I'd rather not return now. I understand. Hmm. We can talk later. Let's go to the tavern. I like these guys. They're like. I shall have to leave you soon. Return to court. Barely got back to Tucson. A knight in the service of her illustrious highness knows no rest. In fact, I feared I would return too late to fulfill my duty. Yet it seems I've arrived in the nick of time. <laughs> in the nick of time. I like these guys. They're like very passionate. Like you know, very emotional. Like you know, hearts on their sleeves types. Guys, know somebody who can fix my stuff for me. Oh, am I supposed to follow you, buddy old pal? Come on, let's go. You can do it. You'll get here eventually. Once you have finished examining the corpse, be sure to report to Anarietta. Anarietta. Her Grace, the Duchess. I forget myself. We address each other by our first names in private. Never in Pomrin's presence, however. He finds such familiarity offensive. <laughs> A watering hole for traders, smugglers, boatmen. But you will find no better crayfish chowder in all Toussaint. By my troth, could that be the musty scent of fresh pate? Naught else, Sir de Peyrac Palin. I see time has not dulled your senses. We would be honored if you would join us. Uh, your companion as well. But why do I not detect even a whiff of crayfish chowder? No soup today, on account of there being no crayfish. I reckon you've not heard, but all I caught was a corpse. I awoke at the crack of dawn, as I do each day, but when I looked up, I beheld a blood-red sky. This corpse is precisely why we're here. For the man whom you've invited to join you at the table was summoned from a far-off land by her gracious magnificence. He is tasked with tracking and killing the beast. 
We invited two men to join us, yet since Sir de Peyrac Peyron in temperament is more akin to hare than hound, I surmise the other is the hunter. With whom do we have the pleasure? What? Like Milton said, I've come from the north at the Duchess's behest to deal with the beast. Yes, yes, but who are you? A knight? A mercenary? A soldier? Geralt is a witcher, a master of his trade. He has questions for you about the beast's most recent victim. I was the one to find a corpse. The sun had just risen when I awoke, sat straight up in my bed, looked out the window, and beheld a sky red as blood. Ask him, please, or we shall be here till winter. <laughs> Must have been early in the morning. Went to check your nets and then... I stepped out of my hut and saw... By my troth, to the point, man. <laughs> you found a body ensnared in your crayfish nets. We know this already. What happened then? Did you see <laughs> anyone nearby? Did you spy anything noteworthy? He's at all. straight, Not more straight to the point than I thought. Just me. As for noteworthy... Hmm, well... What did you see? Be warned. <laughs> I hear the sky was red again. I saw a head popping, eyes bulging, the tongue blue and popped out. Next yes. to it, a hand rocking upon the water. Get a good look at the body parts? They gave me such a fright. I bolted to town fast as my legs would take me, then returned with guardsmen who told me to keep out of their way. They had a hard haul. The parts were so tangled up in my nets, they were forced to cut them. I hope they replace his nets. Need to examine the body. Know where they took it? They ferried it across, then loaded it on a cart and hauled it to a cellar at Corfo Bianco to keep it cool, see? What? Why, Corfo Bianco is Baron Russell's estate. When he learns they've turned his cellar into a morgue, he'll set his hounds on them. While you were caliphanting about the north, his vineyard was auctioned off. Hi, lady, who's gonna who be my that? counterpart? Woman who just left. Didn't see her before. Didn't notice her walk in either. Doubtless Linnis, the innkeeper's daughter. But hold, Geralt, because this is an outrage. Rossell's vineyard was auctioned off? Inconceivable. It is no secret the Baron had gambling debts up to his ears. It finally came time I don't to trust you. his creditors auctioned off his property. The Ducal Chancellery bought it, in fact. Russell now bunks with his brother in Vicofara. I told Russell he'd get his comeuppance. How long can one draw on past heroics? His creditors must finally have to find that his promises meant nothing. Such are the times. Today's knights are pale shadows of the heroes of yore. It's don't be rude. True what they say. God sent the beast to punish us for straying from the old paths. Yeah, okay. So folk think the beast's divine punishment. Knights have turned their backs on the old customs. Where they were defenders of the duchy, they're now defenders of their own tushes. Why, you insolent. Let him talk. The duchess trades in titles, grants honors to ill to us. We've strayed from the path of virtue. Oh, so it's the Duchess. Lost the gods' favor, so the gods sent retribution. Don't listen to that nonsense, girl. It's rehashed street preacher Codsworth. Yes, the rebel rousers have been sprouting up like weeds lately, each offering the same bill of goods. Mm-hmm. When something goes wrong, there's always someone to make a profit off of it. They say anything else about the beast? Besides it being a messenger of the gods. The Toussaint-Trois are no fools. They see clearly the beast kills on days honoring patron saints. Picky monster. Hmm. Okay. So there is a pattern. Thanks for There's the There's obviously a pattern, but... Time I examined the corpse. We just don't Como see much Bianco of it yet. lies a short way from here. Near the tawny grounds. Just follow the road and you'll arrive. Not coming with? <laughs> oh, yeah. Duty of some sort calls. Some sort? <laughs> Her grace bestowed a great honor on me, even before we departed for Venice. 
I'm to play the hare during this year's game in the palace gardens. When you see me in my costume, you will wet yourself laughing. <laughs> a little tempted to ask a few questions, but it sounds like a long, complicated <laughs> story. One involving lengthy digressions into local history and tradition. So, see you later, Milton. And good luck. I like this guy. He's got a nice face. I like him. Uh, I see what they're meaning about the hair now. I was like, he's like so enthusiastic. And it's so funny. Like, you'd think that some guys would be like, you know, oh, it's, that can't be the hair. It's not glorious enough, or blah, blah, blah. But he's like, yes, I'm going to make everybody laugh. I like that a lot. It's going to be so fun. All right, I'm going to call this one here. But thank you guys so much for watching it. I'm really excited. Like, I know I keep saying that, but I'm really stoked. <sighs> Who was that woman? I'm really intrigued. But, yeah, anyway. Thank you again, and I will see you guys in the next one.